Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another video. So, Lisa Aldridge has finally released some makeup. Yay! I have been waiting for such a long time for her to release some makeup. I really admire her work. If you don't know who she is, she is a working professional makeup artist. She's worked on people from Kylie Minogue to the Kardashians to very well-known supermodels and honestly her work is really incredible and i've learned some very good tips and tricks from her from her videos that she does on youtube so her social media links and channel will be linked down below so you can go and follow her so she's released a red lipstick collection and you can buy these individually at 26 pound per lipstick or you can buy the trio of lipsticks with the makeup bag for 75 pounds i honestly wanted to buy the trio with the bag but it was out of my budget so I went with the one that appealed to me the most and that I thought I'd get the most use out of which is Velvet Jazz. So the packaging itself is very sleek, very modern and very Lisa-like. It comes in gold and white cardboard packaging with Lisa's L and Lip logo on the top and on the side also and on there it says plush matte velvet lip colour and I picked mine up in the colour velvet jazz. So the tube itself is a lovely gold colour, it's got 3.5 grams of product in, it's got the L and Lip logo on the top which is a nice touch. It's also got a magnetic click as well when you open and close the product. And then inside is the lipstick itself, which looks like actual velvet. And when I watched Lisa's video explaining the process of how she got it to look like that, it sounded really technically difficult and it sounded like quite a long process. But it's something that I'm so glad she persevered with because it's so true to who she is. She's very into unique makeup products, her vintage makeup collection, and I can appreciate the time and the effort that has gone into making the lipstick aesthetically pleasing it feels very nice and weighty you know when you pick up some of those luxe makeup products and you're like wow this feels like time care and love has gone into it this is exactly what the lipstick feels like so i'm just going to try this on now just for your information i have an olive undertone but i'll put it on and you guys tell me down below what you think So this is Velvet Jazz on my lips and I don't know about you guys but I think it looks wonderful. It is such an easy formulation to work with. It's highly pigmented and it's not difficult to get on your lips and manoeuvre around. This is a matte formulation but it doesn't feel matte at all. In fact, for the last few days that I've been wearing it, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on my lips aside from them being nice and moisturised. Which is quite rare for me to find a matte lipstick like that. I have very dry lips and they get worse in the winter so I have to keep them like nice and moisturized with a lip sleeping mask and Carmex throughout the day and usually I avoid matte lipsticks especially in the winter because they cling to like the lines in my lips and the dryness on my lips but this has been a joy to work with and I've worn it for the last few days I've worn it out running errands talking to people all day and eating and drinking and it looks wonderful it doesn't fade in like a patchy or an even way it actually hardly fades at all but when it does start to come off usually I find in the inner corners just very slightly it starts to come off it comes off very evenly so you're not there after lunch looking like you've had a red popsicle and it's bled all over the outside of your lip line hey you guys so it's 11 30 p.m right now and i've been wearing this lipstick since 2 p.m so that's over eight hours i have eaten in that time three times i have had kisses and cuddles with my nieces and nephew in that time i've gone out shopping and been with family all day and this is how the lipstick is looking i mean 
some lipsticks look like this on first application the color has faded a bit but that's to be expected but it's come off in such a way where it's not patchy it's not settled into you know any dryness around my mouth it's not come off unevenly or bled when i've eaten it is really really impressive and to me it's kind of like the way a liquid lipstick performs where it stays on all day but it hasn't dried my lips out i haven't had to reapply i don't feel like it's uncomfortable after eight hours and i'm like get it off my lips i am well impressed so in conclusion i think this is a very well thought out product i think lisa aldridge could have easily slip, slapped her name onto any product and it would have sold regardless but she chose to do what she has shown us throughout her youtube and makeup career which is sophistication elegance and a bit of uniqueness as well i think it's a very well thought out concept i think it's something that will suit every single skin tone so nobody is excluded i think that it makes a wonderful gift for yourself for your girlfriends for your friends and family and i truly believe that there is a red in that trio for everybody so you should go and check it out the formulation is a very unique the aesthetics is very unique and i think she did a really good job so well done lisa and I urge everybody to pick up at least one of these because they are wonderful and I've had a lot of fun using this throughout the week since I've got it and I don't think I'll be putting it down anytime soon. I will leave Lisa's shop link down below, I'll leave her social media links down below and hit the like button if you enjoyed my review and I'll see you all in the next one.